back to Ruches in the house. Today, um, I'm going to be making a snowflake with you guys. This is my Christmas tree, which means it's almost time for Christmas. So, and it's almost the end of the year too. So that, and it's starting to snow here where I live. So that's why I thought it would be a good, great idea to make a snowflake. This is how our snowflake will be looking like, except with different colors, of course. Hey look, I got some presents. I got a scissor, some tape, and six pieces, six pieces of paper. All those are what you're gonna need for this project. A scissors, a tape, and six pieces of paper. Let's get started. So now I'm gonna show you how to make a, one part of the snowflake with black paper. Really, you can use any um, papers. You can use multiple different colors. That's what I'm gonna do. Six different colors, actually. It's literally six for snowflakes. Okay, so first you're gonna fold it. Which is perfect. You don't have to, it's nothing, no one's perfect, so it doesn't have to be exactly perfect. Okay, so once you fold it, it looks like a triangle, kind of. So you have to cut this extra part off. You see a perfect triangle. So then, not perfect triangle actually, because now it's perfect again. So then, you have to fold it again. And then to make it a smaller triangle. Okay, so then, you see the open side? You do not, you do not want to cut this open side, because then it's just gonna, that's just gonna be a mistake. So you want to cut the closed side right here to the part of the snowflake. And make and cut it three times. See, I've cut it three times now, so you get to open it. It's gonna look like this on the inside. So then, this is when your tape comes in. You need this, you need a small piece of tape, and then you go to the center piece of the um, thing, the snowflake part, and then you have to fold it, like, you have to fold it in a little bit, and make them connect each other, and then you put the tape around it. I'm gonna do this. And you, you don't go ahead of me because it's not like this for the whole fork, all fork. It's, it changes a little later. So then you do the same thing with the next one. But then you flip it. And you do the same on the other side though, because they have the last two. This is one side, this is the side we're working on. So now do the last one on the same side and just did the other one. So now, this is what it's gonna look like. Do the same with the rest. As you can see in my hand, I have different colors of the same black, and same pink, and same white, and same green. They're all the same way, except for different colors, of course. So, you're gonna do the same with the rest 
of them. So you, you're making six. Remember that. Since I finished all six of my snowflake parts, um, now it's time to put the snowflake together. Okay, so first you take one side, one piece, and then you take another piece, and then you need your tape again. And then you take these two little cor you take the corners together. Or you can staple them, but I choose tape. And then you continue sticking all of them together. So now I put three together. Three more to go. I think I need, need a new piece of tape for this one. Two more to go. We're done. Two to go. This takes a little harder to rip out from. Z. Putting the last one. So now it might look like you need a new one, an another one, but you don't exactly. There's still one more step to it. Okay, maybe a few more steps, but one more step to make the snowflake, but a few more steps to finish what I want to do with the snowflake. Okay, so then you take these two corners, like you see this area, so that you have to find the, the same thing on the other side, and then you take that together. So do you see this X here? Um, you're going to find the same thing on the other side, and then you're going to tape them both together. See, look how much it looks like a snowflake. I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't have the exact same colors, but I mean, we're making it creative. And it looks so much like a snowflake. I hope you guys enjoyed watching my video. Please subscribe and stay tuned for more videos. Have a great day. Bye.